And for my next trick, I will be turning this regular, sort of regular chunk of leaf spring into a V42 stiletto dagger. I'm really hoping I just said that right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Anyway, I'm going with it. If not, I'm sure the name of the video will tell you what it actually is, and I might have forgotten it between the three seconds of looking it up and hitting play. I'm getting off track. Anyway, so a few weeks ago, or probably a month or so ago at this point, I made a stiletto dagger of a drill bit, and it was kind of cool, but didn't really function the way I wanted to. It turned out really thin, and I don't think it would really work as an actual dagger, but the look of it was kind of interesting, and I definitely wanted to make another stiletto. So, well, actually, while I was looking for that one, I found these military daggers from World War II, and I'm like, I kind of want to do that, you know? They have very pointed blades, as per usual, but they have like that stacked leather handle, which I love. So, I'm gonna do it. This is actually a chunk off of my last build that I cut down, so hopefully there's enough steel here, and well, if not, it'll just be a little shorter, because I want this thing to actually be, you know, functional, not a, you know, sharp toothpick. Now that I have the rough shape forged out, I ended up actually having to uh, reforge the tang because uh, what I originally had done had folded over in on itself and wasn't gonna work. So I essentially had a couple small cracks running through it. So I shorted it up and that seemed to work just fine. So yeah, that, you know, it's a lot shorter than I wanted, but it's a little closer, I think, to what the actual length was after I looked it up. But I, th I think like just shy, maybe half an inch. So that'll be fine. I definitely need to, you know, true up all the edge of the grinder and then go to the sander and sand up everything so it doesn't look like crap. Funny enough, I can actually get more accurate with bigger things than I can smaller ones for some reason, but it's definitely thicker than my uh, last attempt at making the stiletto, so we're already ahead.
So now that I have the blade ground to shape and actually turned out pretty good. I still need to sand it down, you know, polish it a bit. Well, not really polish it, but just go through the grits a little bit. But uh, actually turned out really well. Uh, now I just have to basically make the guard for it, which I'm going to at least cut this part out, then heat treat this, and then probably continue grinding this to shape. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Actually, now I think what I think I'll do is I will cut this part out, then uh, form it to, or no. Okay, let me start over. I'm getting all over the place, sorry. It's been an interesting day. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out, cut it to shape, heat up in the forge, and then forge it to fit this. Then heat treat this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Catch all that? Okay, now the blade is made. I kind of didn't film this, but it really wasn't all that interesting. I basically cut out and stacked up a bunch of leather. Basically, I just cut out squares and then cut a small slot for the tying to go in. Fit them on and then that's just kind of thread on there as a placeholder at the moment. I will make something better here before too long. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a box cutter and just like cut up basically this to where it's more of a handle shape and then file not really file more use a raft and uh, sander to kind of get to where I want it before I dye it because yeah it's a pretty big handle not gonna lie this is a lot of work and usually I uh, put epoxy in it like a JB weld but I forgot to get some so uh, this doesn't have any in it I don't think they usually do so it's kind of an experiment to see if I actually need to use JB weld for this so Long for the journey, I suppose. Okay, so for the pommel, I have this uh, hex nut. Hex nut, this is a bolt. Uh, yeah, I basically just got it at a hardware store. Nothing special, zinc plated. Gonna have to remove that. If you do this, uh, make sure we're aspirated because you do not want to breathe in zinc. Not good. But I'm gonna do that before I actually shape the handle. So if you're wondering why I jumped from talking about shaping the handle to doing this, I'm gonna do this first, then shape the handle. So basic plans, I'm gonna cut the threads off. Uh, I'll probably uh, heat cycle several times to darken it and then drill a hole so that way it's, uh, you know, I can thread it on. Cause, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do that now. Get blades from the box cutter. Maybe one for this one too. 